Hello everybody, this is JC Aceball, and now we're going to be doing our first, uh, our first playthrough of Pikmin. I understand this is an old game back in 2001, but I, I had a ton of fun playing this game back then, and I'd like to play it and share it with you guys. This is currently on the computer, but I have a, uh, USB game controller because I don't know how to record on a, on an actual GameCube, and I don't have a uh, a camera on a phone. I don't even have a phone. But either way, let's stop rambling. Let's get into this. All right. So as you can see, I have been the game. Well, it doesn't say in this one because I didn't go through the uh, whole thing, but. Either way, it's going to be the same thing. So, I'm gonna, we're going to start off new. And let's go through the whole story. My name is Captain Oliver. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts to lost, the skeletal hull of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't report Repair the dolphin by then? No. Better to think about it. I must find the missing parts. And this is a stated. This is Oliver, and this is the dolphin that is. that, well, is broken. I don't know why I said one part there, but <laughs> let's get started, shall we? So, let's try to get a good idea of our surroundings. You guys probably understand what needs to be done. Hey, what's this? I can punch it apparently. Good, okay. yeah, it's down. Okay. Oh, 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 what's this? What is this? A strange thing has appeared before me. I'd barely begun my search when it read, reared up as if it were waiting for me. And then it dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we called onion. I shall call this an onion too. Alright, now I can see better now. Yeah, this is much better. Okay, yeah, this is way better. Okay, oh, I can extend it all that. Anyways, let's see what this is. The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must support you and press A. As it showed, I am using a controller. Sorry about that. Uh, extraordinary! When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Piggy has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is, is similar to the Pickwick brand carrots I love so much. 
I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I am intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with A, and I will call it to my side with B. Hmm, perhaps it will react to C and X as well. The following controls allow me to several viewpoints. Left is to rotate the camera. R is zoom in and out. Z, uh, change angle. I must survive. I need to familiarize myself with these controls in my surroundings. And this is what leads to me breaking this thing is. This is called a pellet, people. Basically, what he does is he's gonna carry it there, under the onion, and then... Well, I'll let the game explain. Astonishing! The onion has sowed more seeds. The small red pellet the pick when the harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study the strange life form more. Also, they can attack these things too, besides just myself, which is very nice. And now I can collect get more of these guys by... And what I did there was also a feature that was sooner uh, done than what was required. So it may explain the, the possibility of just like like dealt, like multiply tapping A. We, you may hear that too, but that's kind of a necessity whenever it comes to multiple Pikmin coming out, like for that for those pellets. And here we got a bigger one. Yep. They can carry it, which is nice. And also, after this, this is the uh, first day and everything's easy. Okay, that's an amazing stunt they're doing there, but... <laughs> I'll be doing a series on this, like I said multiple times. And I'll be making sure everything is done correctly, which everything should be. Well, especially on the first day, it's easy. And then I'll have to go much faster on the other next day. I wish I could just stay on here, but eventually we have to move on to the next episode, am I right? But okay, so let's get as many of these guys as we can. Alright, 10. What does it say here? 10 2? Huh! Oh, there's a push it! The Pikmin are, are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. Approach and press A to fix routes and press A to grab Pikmin. Release to throw. B to call them. Exodus miss. Yep, this is all pretty much review. Just so you guys know. Now, I'm not gonna explain what that is quite yet. I'm gonna. I just wanna get these out, out of the way first. Sorry about that. Uh. Yep, yay. So now these are on the way. Now let's approach this mysterious item. Amazing! There's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I've already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me. But how do I get it back to the dolphin? I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, I've only played it two times, well, multiple times since my childhood, but you guys understand my drift, so let me just 
get, go ahead and get that. I somehow missed that one. Come on. There you go. Okay, yeah, I never knew that I could actually stand up here, so... Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling like as far as tool this yet. Alright. So let's go jump. Wow, are you kidding me? Barely moved much and you, yet you already fall on your face. So you go ahead and collect that. Oh well, we've got enough. If we don't, if we don't have enough Pikmin, we definitely do now. I mean, how many Pikmin does it take? Twenty. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got to see too many. Actually, that's because no such thing as too many guys. Am I right? When many Pikmin seeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to plug them from the ground individually. My wife always said, always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get it all done at once by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. And this is what I was saying earlier. I've already spoken. Oh, yeah. I've noticed that when I added Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flushed with bread color. As other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these different. Differences is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. That is because, yeah, actually, uh, let me. Sh I can show you guys what he means after I pick all these. Uh, all these bad boys. All right, so whenever I throw one guy out, now he's like drained of energy, as you can see. He's like doing nothing. He's like. Meh. Alright. Let's go ahead and claim my part. That was me using the C, by the way. Yeah, there isn't much to say here. But I guess what I could say is... <coughs> what I'm thinking of doing, by the way, guys, is like... For the last day... As basically, it's going to take a while to finish that, so I may just combine all the days into that in this one big episode. How, you guys let me know down in the comment section below if you'd like me to do that for the last day, or the last days here. And you guys want me to do Pikmin 2. I cannot do Pikmin 2 because I do not have a Wii U, nor do I know how to record with it. But would you guys like me to do both? I'm curious on you guys' opinions. Let me know in the comment section below, and if you like what if you like my content, leave a like and and say that you like it. If you don't want me to play these games, then tell me what I what I should play. And it has to be something that has it doesn't have to be purchased, cause I don't have a lot of money. Oh, glorious! With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. One day, one day since impact, I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface. Or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hokotate. Analysis shows life support system will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? It, a dense force is visible in the surface below. As it holds the keys to my survival, I named it the Forest of Hope. I explore tomorrow. This is the analysis. Nothing has happened. 
because it's the first day. Them things are gonna be easy. All right, and we shall figure out what our parts are here in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit the like button. It is very appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video.